Why do earthquakes occur in the first place? Earthquakes are a response of the Earth to the constant movement we have of tectonic plates. So the Earth is a very restless planet. It's a hot planet and we have these plates that move around on top of a relatively molten planet eventually. And when they then just get stuck next to each other, eventually there is energy being collected for years, for centuries sometimes strain energy that is then released in a sudden break and that's the thing that we call earthquakes and the wave that are emitted in the process are what we feel as an earthquake. How does the Richter scale work? The Richter scale is interesting and uh, colleagues of mine always have journalists visiting that want to see the Richter scale. It's nothing you can see really. What it builds on is the fact that as you have ground motions in an earthquake, a 10 times bigger earthquake then gets you an amplitude 10 times higher. So what the Richter scale actually does is it measures the amplitude of seismic waves and because these amplitudes go in you know logarithmic scales and it's hard to remember these big numbers Richter then had the idea to make a logarithmic scale and say okay I'll give this a number and he defined an earthquake in California of a certain size in a certain distance this is a magnitude 3 and from there on all earthquakes relative to this earthquake now have a number that's of magnitude 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 that then are building up the scale so it gives a relative size distribution of an earthquake earthquake that is not really the energy but can be related to the energy of an earthquake. Is there a way to build affordable and relatively simple earthquake resistant foundations? There is well-known techniques and things we have to avoid as a society so yes we can build it's not necessarily only the foundation it's more so the coupling of the different layers to each other what an earthquake does is it moves the ground and the earth the building is really heavy so a very heavy building doesn't want to move so easily so the ground moves and the, the earthquake stays so we have to avoid that there's a lot of gravitational pull that is not supported and one thing they can do is to build shear walls so there are ways to build earthquake resistant building that are withstanding even the strongest earthquakes. How accurately can we predict the occurrence of earthquakes in the future? Earthquake prediction is a, is a big dream of all of us seismologists. It's something that motivated me when I was young as a PhD student and then later on. And uh, admittingly, we really haven't gotten so much closer to being able to predict reliable when the next earthquake will be. Prediction would be allowing me to leave a building when an earthquake is actually coming beforehand, hours or minutes or days before. And that's something that we may never be able to do. But we are becoming better in forecasting where are the zones that is especially vulnerable, how strong will the shaking be, and understanding maybe time-dependent processes so one is more likely to have an earthquake. That I think will be possible. Are there earthquakes on other celestial bodies? There are, we know this, and actually it's something where ETH was very active. We know there are Mars quakes. We have landed a sensor there some years ago and now the analysis has shown there are indeed a lot of Mars quakes that are occurring, not as many as on Earth because Mars is not tectonically as active. We also know there are moon quakes because there was a seismometer that was brought to the moon and we can see how the moon under the strain of the tides essentially is also producing quakes you would call moon quakes. So indeed we assume that also in other planets these things would occur but those are the two where we have measured them so far.